Did you know Erling Haaland once claimed to have five girlfriends at the same time? Isn't that insane? I'll explain more about it later in the video. Get ready to discover 12 surprising things you don't know about Erling Haaland. Number 12. World Record at 5 While the majority of kids at the age of 5 are either learning how to count numbers or reciting poems, Erling Haaland was setting a world record. This fact sounds unbelievable, but it's true. Erling Haaland's athletic ability was evident from an early age. On January 22, 2006, at the age of 5, the talented player leaped 1.63 meters in a standing long jump. International age records reported that Erling Haaland's world record is restricted to a 5-year-old and that the amazing record still stands. His dad once commented on this fact, saying it was before he started playing football. We used to take him to athletics so he could test himself. Erling Haaland participated in different sports from handball and athletics to cross-country skiing till he was 14. Number 11. Haaland's alarm tone is the Champions League anthem. We all love to hear the melodious Champions League anthem, but not as much as Haaland. The player revealed that the Champions League anthem was his alarm call tone. After the player scored a hat-trick against Jenk, his former teammate Maximilian Vuba called him crazy. Vuber stated, Last night our captain was out having a walk with his daughter when a car pulled up next to him. The driver rolled down the window and there was Erling, listening to the Champions League anthem. Erling Haaland also confirmed this in 2019 by saying the Champions League anthem is my alarm tone. I wake up to it every day. It's the last song I'm tired of. He continued by saying, I've been listening to the Champions League theme since I was a little kid, and it's maybe my favorite song. Number 10. Erling Haaland was once a rapper. If not for football, Erling Haaland would have been a great name in the music industry. Probably he would have won a Grammy Award for Best Rap Album. Before leaving his country to play with Red Bull Salzburg, Erling Haaland was a member of a rap group known as the Flow Kings along with fellow Norwegian players Erik Bothiam and Erik Tobias Sandberg. Their YouTube video has over 9 million views. On how they made the song, the player has this to say. We were with the national team at under 16 or under 17, and we were good friends, so obviously we were training but then for the rest of the day, we didn't have anything to do. He continued by saying, We tried to do a lot of random stuff and then we came on this and thought, maybe we should make a music video. Why not? Because Eric Tobias Sandberg was good at rhymes. Have you ever seen the video on YouTube? Maybe you should check it so you'll understand why Holland set his focus on becoming the next Ronaldo instead of the next Jay-Z. Number 9. Holland has 5 girlfriends. It is right to say that Erling Holland is one of the hungriest strikers in the world. His goal rate is amazing, and his quotes about goals are incredible. But outside football, Erling Holland has a girlfriend. He once said, I have five hat-trick balls in my bed and I sleep well with them. They are my girlfriends. This is quite hilarious. In a brief interview with a Norwegian newspaper named Doug Bladet, the player said, I sleep with the five balls that I have for each hat-trick I scored. He continued by saying, I lie in bed and I feel good with them. I look at them every day. They are my girlfriends. Well, for a player that has scored a lot of hat-tricks already, we believe Erling Haaland will score more hat-tricks so he can have more girlfriends to sleep with. Maybe we should also expect a baby soon. Number 8. Haaland has a great family fortune. His mother, Grimarita Braut, was a popular Norwegian heptathlete champion in the 1990s. The heptathlete game is a demanding game that sees contenders specializing in a series of hard disciplines which comprises the 100-meter hurdles, high jump, long jump, shot put, 200 meters, javelin, and 800 meters. Erling Haaland's father is also well-known having played football at the highest level in England, including three years with Manchester City between the year 2000 and 2003. Following his parents' footsteps, Holland has decided to play football and also remain in the sports world. Now we see why people think Holland was grown in a laboratory. Number 7. Erling Holland supports Leeds United. 
while Erling Haaland would play for Manchester City this season, he still loves and supports Leeds United. Holland was born in Leeds when his dad was playing for Leeds United. While speaking in an interview in 2017, the player revealed he had a soft spot for Leeds United. Holland once said, I want to become as good as possible. My dream is to win the Premier League with Leeds. Additionally, my goal is to become a better player than my father. I hope to play more games for the Norwegian national team than him. Holland was once spotted wearing a pair of Leeds United shorts in the year 2021. Number 6. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer gave Erling Holland his big break. Holland joined Mold in 2017, aged 16, and continued his growth under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Holland once said, Ole had a very big impact on my life, and he taught me a lot. Holland revealed in an interview with Red Bull, he's one of the reasons I'm the player I am today. He's a good person and a good coach. We wonder why Erling Holland wasn't signed to Old Trafford in December 2019 when Ole was still in charge. Number 5. He has always been a tall player. Though he is still very young, Holland has formidable physical stature thanks to his height of 1.94 meters. Erling Haaland has always been a unique player because of his notable stature and size. He was once given the nickname the man-child by his football mates. Guess what? Well, after a remarkable season, Haaland gained 12 centimeters in height. Number 4. Erling Haaland wants to be a farmer. Haaland grew up in a small farmer's town called Bryan, which is about 25 miles south of Stavanger. Erling Holland says that he would like to look after animals on the land once he stops playing football. I don't own cows or pigs, but I will for sure in the future, the player once revealed speaking earlier this year. He continued by saying, yeah, I think I will have a small farm after I retire. I don't know where, but I'm quite sure I will have some animals. We are thinking about getting a couple of goats. We will see. Number 3. Athletic Prowess Aside from his awesome long jump record, Erling Haaland is also athletic. As a kid, his father introduced him to many sports, including cross-country, athletics, skiing, and handball. It was before Erling started playing football, his father revealed. We used to take him to athletics so he could test himself. Erling played football, athletics, and cross-country skiing till he turned 14. Norway's handball manager wanted him to play handball. I thought it was nice to play tennis and handball next door. His dad also continued by saying versatility is important. You get to develop completely different sides of the body, and that can be positive no matter what you do. Number 2. Holland has a mentor. Great people have mentors and Erling Haaland is not an exception. Erling Haaland has revealed how former Swansea City and Spain striker Michu motivates and inspires him. In the wake of Michu's spectacular exploits during the 2012-13 football season in South Wales, which saw Michu net 22 goals in just 43 appearances and also assist the Welsh club to lift the league trophy, Holland even at a particular time tagged himself as Miko Viedo 9 on his Instagram handle by way of an homage in the Spanish footballer. In return, Michu who was forced to retire from football due to injuries sent Erling Holland a signed Burgos shirt with his name on the back. Number 1. Erling Holland was born in England. Holland was born on the 21st of July 2000 in Leeds. A month after this offer, Afi Holland joined Manchester City from Leeds United. As Erling Holland was born in England, it means the striker was technically eligible to represent England. However, with his family traveling to Norway in 2003, he spread to play his international football with the Norway football team. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like share and drop your view in the comment section. See you again. Bye.